be the name of Jesus. Amen. And now you may have your blessed seat. You may have your blessed seat. It's good to see you this morning. I, 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 saw, I, I saw a post from one of my friends. Like I said, even if you roll to church, you walk to church, you limp to church, please come to church. And now you're in church. And, how, and because you're here, your life will never be the same again. Blessed be the name of Jesus. My name is Paul Wanene. I'm glad and excited to be here. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to honor God for our bishop and Pastor Alice, Bishop Jimmy and Pastor Alice, who is in the house. Come on and celebrate them. Amen. And the entire leadership, Pastor Beatrice, our pastors, and the entire leadership, it's such a great joy to bring the word of the Lord this morning. Amen. Are you ready for the word? Are you ready for the word? Today I'm in Judges chapter number 11. There is an interesting story that I want us to look at. Judges chapter number 11. Judges chapter number 11, verse number 1 to 10. Judges chapter number 11. And the Bible says, Now Jephthah the Gileadite was a man, mighty man of Vela. Somebody say, mighty man of Vela. But he was a son of a harlot. And Gilead begot Jephthah. Verse number two, the Bible says, Gilead's wife bore sons, and when his wife, his wife's son grew up, they drove Jephthah out and said to him, you shall, not, you shall have no inheritance in our father's house, for you are the son of another woman. Verse number three, can you help me read? Verse number three. Then Jephthah fled from his brothers and dwelt in a land of Tob, a hair, and worthless men banded together with Jephthah and went out raiding with him. I have verse number four. It came to pass after that time that the people of Ammon eh, made war against uh -huh, verse number five. And so it was when the people of Ammon eh, made war against Israel that the elders of Gilead went to get Jephthah from the land of Tob. Verse number six. Uh -huh, come and be our home. The man who was sent away, the man who was rejected, the man who is a son of an alert. This later they came to look for him and say and say to him, Come and be our commander, that we may fight uh -huh, against the people of Ammon. Verse number seven. So Jephthah. Uh -huh, the elder of Gideon, did you not hate me uh -huh, and expel me from my father's house? Why have you come to me now when you are in? distress. Verse number eight, aha, uh -huh. and the elders of Gilead said to Jephthah, this, that is why, uh -huh, that you may go with us and fight against the people of Ammon and be our head, uh -huh, all the inhabitants of, verse number nine, uh -huh. so Jephthah said to the elders of Gilead, uh -huh, if you take back home to fight against the people of Ammon, the Lord, the Lord delivers them to me. Shall I be your head? Verse number 10. And the elders of Gilead say to Jephthah, the Lord will be a witness uh -huh, if we do not do according to your word. And this is to tell you that after the war, they are, Jephthah won against the Ammonites and he became the leader of Israel. Father, we thank you for the reading of your word. May you speak to us this morning. I pray in the name of Jesus. May Lord, uh, your people be encouraged by your word. May the broken hearted be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that your spirit hover in this place in the name of Jesus. Through your word, may, your sick, may the sick be healed. May the demon possessed be delivered in the name of Jesus. And Jesus, may you be lifted in this place. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And today I'm working on a topic that I've entitled The Unexpected Heroes of Faith. The Unexpected Heroes of Faith. Blessed be the name of Jesus. The Unexpected. Look at your neighbor and tell them the Unexpected Heroes of Faith. You know, we come from different places and there are people you expect them to make it in life. True or true? Can we be real? You're not shocked that, um, it's not political, but you're not shocked that Uhuru Kenyatta was a president. His father was a president. You expected him. In fact, least would you expect him to be is a prime minister, right? Buenas fiestana. But there are people who, uh, finding them in 
certain capacities, capacities in life, it is so unexpected. And therefore, today I want us to talk about the unexpected heroes of faith. Help me preach to your neighbor and tell them the unexpected heroes of faith. And maybe you are seated to, next to one, blessed be the name of Jesus. I remember uh, some few months ago, I, I think the end of last year, I was walking down Lumuma Drive, and it was an early morning. And therefore, I met a, a young mom and, uh, and a son who was about, looking at him, he was about five, six years. And the mom looked like she's just from work, working in one of the nightclubs around. And, uh, you know, it's an early morning. You can, you, can hear, you can hear the conversation that is going on. And therefore, the mother and the son, he had just picked the son from a friend. And then he's asking him, how was your night? And I'm going to make poor. And they were catching up. Now me, I'm walking behind them. I'm, I'm hearing, I'm eavesdropping the conversation that is, is going on be, uh, be, uh, between them. And then the mother asked the son, Sasa wewe unafrai yanga kukuwa na mama kama mimi mwenye anafanya kazizi za usiku. And that question got me, got my heart. And, and the son kept quiet for a minute. But I loved the answer of the son. He told, he told the mother, Mom, usijali, siku moja, nitakuwa mtu mkubwa, na wewe hautafanya hizi kazi za usiku. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And then, and then he kept asking, unajua sasa lazima tutafte do, unajua sasa shoshua alinikata, alitukata, sasa lazima ndiyo mana nafanya kazi za usiku. And the answer of the son was the same. Usijali, mom, siku moja, nitakuwa mtu mkubwa, na hautafanya Blessed be the name of Jesus. In, in other words, it doesn't matter. I am a son of a harlot, but one day I will rise to be a hero. Blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who I am talking to. Maybe it is not in that case, but you are these people who you feel rejected, you feel brokenhearted. You come from places where there is nothing. That is the answer that we are, we are saying. Usijali, siku moja, nishakuwa mtu mkubwa, na hautafanya hizi kazi za usiku. Blessed be the name of Jesus. We will, in other words, I will rise up to, an, to be an hero. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And as I was thinking about the story of Jephthah, Jephthah, scripture says in Judges chapter number one, and uh, in Judges chapter number 11 and verse number one, that Je uh, Jephthah was a son, was a mighty man of Vela. That is where scripture says that Jephthah, uh -huh. Let us read it together that Jephthah the Gileadite was a mighty man of valor. But there is a but. Somebody say but. He was a son of a harlot. He was a son of a what? Prostitute. He was the rejected, rejected one. Blessed be the name of Jesus. In other words, Jephthah was considered defeated in life. All odds, all odds were against him. He was defeated one. And I came to speak to the defeated ones. I don't know who, who is in that place where you feel, man, I am the defeated one. Jephthah was a mighty man of valor, but he was a son of a harlot. He was the defeated one. The pace that was set for him was a pace of defeat. He was a son of a prostitute. He was the rejected one. You see, in the Jewish customs, it was serious. Being a prostitute, you're, you're these people who have been rejected. He was the defeated one. And again, he was the rejected one. I do not know who walked in this place, and you are the rejected one. I have some good news for you. I have some good news for you that you can rise up to be the unexpected hero of faith. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Buona sifiwe sana. Number three, he was surrounded by worthless men. Therefore, he was the worthless one. You see, you attract who you are. That is the kingdom. That's the principle of life. You attract who you are. Therefore, if you are worthless, chances are you'll be surrounded by worthless men. And this was the condition of Jephthah. Not only was he the defeated one, not only was he the rejected one, but he was also the worthless one, surrounded by a band of worthless men. And therefore, looking at it from that place, you could easily assume that Jephthah would not rise to be anything. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Turn to somebody and tell them the unexpected hero of faith. Turn to another neighbor and tell them the unexpected hero of faith. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And something else that we note from the same scripture is that the brothers sent him away. In other words, he had no inheritance. He had no inheritance. And he went to dwell in the land of Tob, called Tob. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And you see, when you look at the land of Tob, it was at the edge of a desert. It was a desert. I do not know who I'm talking to, and you have been sent away by your brothers. 
You've been sent away by your sisters. You have been rejected in your family. You have been rejected in that relationship. You are the rejected one. I came with the word of the Lord that let us look at Jephthah and may he be our set example that you can rise up to be the unexpected hero of faith. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Therefore, thank God for the word of the Lord because the Lord does not consult our history to determine our destiny. I said, blessed be God because he does not consult our history to determine our destinies. Help me preach to your neighbor and tell them, blessed be God. He does not consult your history to, to determine our destiny. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Or in other words, blessed be God for he does not consult our past to determine our future. Is the Lord who keeps his word. Is the Lord who keeps his word. Is the Lord who keeps his word. He does not consult our past to determine our destiny. And the writer of Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse number 11 comes to us and say that I have seen something under the sun. Let us read it together. Uh -huh. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift. Come on, let us read it together. I returned and saw under the sun uh -huh, that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor the bread to the wise, nor riches to the men of understanding, nor favor to the men of skill, but what? Time and chance happen to them all. Help me preach to your neighbor and tell them you have time and you have a chance to become a hero. Look for another neighbor and tell them you have time, you have chance to rise up to be a hero of faith. It doesn't matter whether you are a Jephthah. It doesn't matter you, whether you are a son of a prostitute. You see, the world tells us that Simba ni. But thank God because God does not use the same analogy. He's the Lord who changes situations of men. That he can lift you from the mighty clay and set your feet upon the rock. Regardless of where you come from. Regardless of your background. Because he is God. Buona skue sana. He does not consult our history to determine our destiny. Even if you do not get anything else. May you not forget that. Then what happened to Jephthah? Bishop Azol has taught us in the past few months that faith is victory. Faith is victory. He did not sit down and uh, cry and weep. He went and worked on himself. He had faith and faith is victory. Help me, to, help me preach to somebody and tell them faith is victory. Faith caused Jephthah to rise up from a son of a prostitute to become a hero of faith. He rose up from being a son of a prostitute to become a hero of faith. Why? Because faith is victory. Blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. And therefore, looking at the history of uh, Jephthah, looking at who Jephthah was, every one of us, you can just reflect in your life. You see, there are some of us who, they are the city babes, but there are some of us who come from the outermost part of the earth. Are you there in the house? We have no problem with you. Blessed be God. But there are some of us who come from the outermost part of the earth. Blessed be the name of Jesus. But the Lord has lifted us and placed us in cities. There are those of us who come from blessed be God. Rich families, you have an inheritance. You are sure. At least there is some. And there are some of us also who maze home ni kuzi that is not you are sure that there is nothing there is nothing that you are getting out of that place buona swe sana it's not the end of the road. There are some of us who, by the, by the grace of God, you have been brought up in uh, families where our parents are born again. But there are some of us seated here that you are the Jephthah. You are the only person who is born again. Blessed be God because it is not the end of the road. There are some of us who have been privileged to be raised by both parents, mother and father, and what we call a, a, fami a, a, a perfect family. But there are some of us here, you've been raised by a single parent. Blessed be God because it is not 
not the end of the road. God does not consult everything. He does not consult your situation to determine who you'll be. He is the Lord who keeps his word. Look at your neighbor and tell them he's the Lord who keeps his word. He's the Lord who keeps his word. Whether you've been raised up by a single parent, he's the Lord who keeps his word. Whether you are a son or a daughter of a prostitute, he's the Lord who keeps his word. Whether you've been brought up in a rich family, he's the Lord who keeps his word. And the, and the scripture reminds us that his word shall not return to him void, but he shall perform that what, that what it was sent to do. Buenas fue sana. Look at your neighbor and tell them he's the Lord who keeps his word. Look for a believing neighbor and tell them he is the Lord who keeps his word. What has been spoken again about you, he shall follow it up to accomplishment. Born as to a sana. And therefore, over 500 years later down the line, the writer of Hebrews chapter number 11 comes and writes to us. Hebrews chapter number 11. Now faith is a substance. Let us read it together. Now faith is the substance of the things hoped for. Uh -huh. The evidence of the things not seen. Verse number two. Uh -huh. For it is the, verse number two. Uh -huh. It is the elders obtained a good testimony. Verse number three. The Bible says by faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen were not made by the things which are visible. In other words, scripture talked of Jephthah, the mighty man of Vela. That was not visible at that point. Whatever was visible was Jephthah, the son of a prostitute. But blessed be God that in that verse we are seeing that the things that are seen are not made from the things which are not. They are, uh, the things that are seen are not made from the things that are seen, but they are made from the things that are not seen. Buenas fue sana. Therefore, look at your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, it doesn't matter what you see in me. There is something else that you have not seen. You have not seen the hero in me. You have not seen the champion in me. You have not seen, uh, come on, talk to somebody and tell them, neighbor, it doesn't matter what you see in me. I may look broke. I may look broken. I may look discouraged in a kind of Minnesota, but there's something else that you have not seen in me. You have not seen the great warrior. You have not seen the mighty man of war. Uh, because the greater is he that is in me than he that is in the word. It's a matter of time. Look at your neighbor and tell them, give me time. Usini pay pressure. Just give me time. And the Lord will manifest through me. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Greater is he that is in me than, than he that is in the word. Greater is he that is in me that, than what you can see. Buenas fue sana. There is what you've not seen. Ah, so you in This is what you've, you you have no you've no idea. You've no idea. Scripture says that eyes have not seen and ears have not heard what the Lord has in store for them that love him. Therefore, you've not seen. You you know the son of the harlot. You've not seen. You've no idea what I carry inside of me. One as for sana. And therefore, the things that are seen are made by the things that are there and seen. One as for sana. And therefore, when we move, uh, the scripture continues in verse number four, and, and, and the writer of Hebrews says that now by faith, by faith, Abel offered a sacrifice and continues and says, by faith, Enoch, so the Lord. By faith, Noah built an ark. By faith, Abraham, he, 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 he got the promised son. By faith, Sarah, that is Hebrews chapter number 11, if you read the whole of it. By faith, Sarah. By faith, Jacob. By faith, Isaac. When you look at this personality, when you look at uh, Abel, where it starts, he had Adam. He had a pace setter. Blessed be the name of Jesus. When you look at Isaac, he was the son of the promise. He had Abraham. When you look at Jacob, he had Isaac. When you look at uh, Joseph, he had Jacob. When you look, but, but, but there are people who, they emerge from that place. People like Rahab, the prostitute, is also mentioned as a hero of faith. And in Hebrews chapter number 11, verse number 32, if you could give it unto us, Hebrews chapter
chapter 11 and verse number 32. The Bible says that we shall not wrap it up without mentioning these people. Uh -huh. Let us read it together. And what more shall I say? For the time would fail me to tell of. Come on, let us read it together. Uh -huh. And what more shall I? Uh -huh. For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon. Uh -huh. Barak, eh, eh, and Samson, eh, eh, and Jephthah, and who what? Also the, of David, Samuel, and the prophets. You see, the name of Jephthah appeared in the, in the books of heroes. The son of the prostitute, over 500 years from then, he appeared. When they mention of Abraham, when they mention of Isaac, when they talk of Noah, when they talk of, uh, of Enoch, when they talk of Sarah, when they talk of Rahab, they also talk of the son of a prostitute. They also mention Jephthah. I do not know who, they are, who I'm talking to this morning, but I I pray for you as they mention of the great names, as they mention of Abraham, as they, as they talk of Isaac, as they talk of Noah, may your name be mentioned. May you rise up to be a hero of faith. May a son of a prostitute rise up to be a champion in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say amen. So as they talk of the great people who came from great families, there is also the place of Esther, the son, the, the orphan. There's also the place of Esther, the orphan girl who rose up to be a queen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And blessed be God for the 12 judges in the book of Judges. It is only Gideon. It is only Samson. It is only Jephthah. And it is only Deborah who appeared in the list of heroes in the book of Hebrews. Blessed be the name of Jesus. I pray for somebody in the name of Jesus that 500 years from today, when the list of heroes will be written, may you as appear. May, when the list of heroes of Kenya be written, may your name appear in the name of Jesus Christ. Because we have discovered it's not because of where we are coming from. Our history has nothing to do with us. Our past has nothing to do with that. But it is our faith that is our victory. Blessed be the name of Jesus. If you do not believe let me pray for myself. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. May I be written in the list of heroes of faith. Jephthah rose up to be what? A champion. A son of a harlot who rose up to become what? A hero. I want us to look at the next verse, verse number 33. What did the heroes of faith do? Because we may have the wrong understanding. It's not about cars. It's not about uh, what we may think. That is part of it. But this is what they are described. Uh -huh. So we've talked of who? Jephthah, Gideon, Barak, Samson. Who do what? Let us read together. Together. One, two, three. Who through faith? Number one, they did what? They subdued kingdoms. I pray for somebody today in the name of Jesus. May we obtain the grace to subdue kingdoms. May we obtain the grace to subdue nations. May we obtain the grace to subdue continents. In the name of Jesus Christ. From a son of a harlot to subduing kingdoms. Come on, help me preach to your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, Jephthah, the son of a harlot, subdued kingdoms. Now where were Jay? Come on, look for another neighbor and tell them, neighbor, the son of a prostitute, subdued kingdoms. You can do better than that. Ah, blessed be the name of Jesus. Would you give us that verse? Number two, what did they do? They subdued kingdoms. Number two, they worked righteousness. You see, the fact that he was a son of a hallowed did not make him give up. He worked on righteousness. His mother may not have been righteous, but Jephthah worked, worked on righteousness. Look at your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, heroes work, work, work on righteousness. They work righteousness. Number one, we have said they subdued. Number two, they did what? Worked righteousness. Number three, what did they do? They obtained promises. Buona sue sana. They did what? They obtained promises. I pray that may we obtain the promises of God 
in the name of Jesus. We are told that there is over 7,147 promises in the scripture alone. Blessed be the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus, may we obtain the grace to obtain every promise. The promise of God that I am yeah, and amen. The promise of God that we shall be the head and not the tail. The promise of God that we shall not die but we shall live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. The promise of the Lord that I shall be greater in my going out. I am blessed in my going out and I am blessed in my coming in. The promise of God uh, that, may, that, that a thousand, that they may come to me in one way that, but they, they will scatter in seven ways. The promises of God. Somebody say amen. Let us continue Aha, in that verse. Number one, we have said they did what? They subdued kingdoms. Number two, they worked righteousness. Number three, they obtained promises. Number four, they stopped the mouths of the lion. Look at your neighbor and tell them they stopped the mouths of the lion. The lion is the jungle, is the king of the jungle, is the king of the jungle. And if they stop the mouth of the lion, look at your neighbor and tell them, if you're, next, you're six, seated next to a sister, if you're seated next to a sister, if you're seated next to a brother, yes, yes, blessed be the name of Jesus. They stop the mouths of the Lord. In other words, they stop the, 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 the great, the terror. Buona sue sana. He rose to be a champion and stopped the mouths of the lion. So number, number one, we have said he did what? Subdued kingdoms. Number two, he worked righteousness. Number three, he did what? Obtained promises. Number four, he did what? They stopped the mouths of the lion. Verse number 34. Uh -huh. Number five, quenched the violence of fire. Look at your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, they quenched the violence of the fire and truth be told all of us we are in a certain fire it may not be like mine but all of us we are going through a fire but heroes the son of a prostitute people who looked like they, they would not become rise up to be anything they quenched they quenched the violence of the fire. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ out of this service, may we obtain the grace to quench the violence of the fire in Jesus' mighty name. God's people said, Amen. I had something else. What did they, did they do? They escaped the edge of the sword. In other words, they escaped death. They escaped death in Buana Suesana. Look at your neighbor and tell them they escaped death. They escaped the edge of the sword. Uh -huh. the, the next one, what did they do? Out of weakness, they were made. Blessed be God, it is not out of strength that you are made strong. It is out of weakness that they were made strong. Blessed be the name of Jesus. I do not know what is your weakness, but the Bible says, let the weak say that I am strong. Let the poor say that we are rich because this is what the Lord has done for us. Come on, Gonga Jirani Mwambi, out of weakness. You're receiving strength. Look for a believing neighbor and tell them, neighbor, out of that struggle, you're receiving strength. I do not know what you've been fighting. I do not know what is your weakness. Truth be told, even who is standing here to you has a weakness. But out of that weakness, we are receiving strength. I pray in the name of Jesus, the name that is above every other name. May you receive strength this morning. May you receive strength in your body. May you receive strength in your heart. May you receive strength in your soul. May you receive strength in your mind uh, in the name of Jesus Christ uh, I pray for everyone uh, under the sound of my voice uh, you are receiving strength to fight uh, you are receiving the strength to be a champion uh, you are receiving a strength uh, to rise up to be the unexpected hero of faith uh, somebody say amen. amen out of weakness out of weakness faith were made strong let us continue let us continue aha uh -huh. let us continue aha uh -huh. What else did they do? They became valiant in battle. In other words, they did not, did, they did not sit down. They did not sit down and cry and pity themselves. What did they do? They became valiant in battle. Turn, turn to your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, become valiant in battle. Look for another neighbor and tell them, neighbor, do not sit down and cry. Go and fight with that determination. 
in other versions they say that he fought they fought with determination go and fight do not sit down in the house and cry of unemployment go and fight they became valiant in battle am i preaching to people who are saying that we shall become valiant in battle it doesn't matter how the economy is it doesn't matter the taxation rates we shall become valiant in battle look at your neighbor and tell them neighbor mazekuwa valiant fight with determination look for a believing neighbor mgonge kidogo mwambie ah fight with determination you are a hero somebody say amen they obtained promises, stopped the mouths of the lion, worked righteousness. They, they escaped the sword. Aha, uh -huh. what else? They, they, did, they did what? Out of weakness, they became strong. Aha, uh -huh. they became valiant in battle. And the last one, they turned to flight the, the armies of the aliens. They turned to flight the armies of the aliens. Blessed be the name of Jesus. In other words, walifukuza the armies of the aliens. I pray in the name of Jesus, may we receive and obtain the grace to put to flight the armies of the aliens. Buenas fue sana. May we receive the grace to put to flight the armies of the aliens. So have we gotten that? The unexpected heroes of faith. Jephthah being one of them and all those things that we've said. Stop the mouths of the lion. Obtain promises. Subdued kingdoms. What righteousness stopped the mouths of the lions. Out of weakness, they became strong. They became valiant in battle and they put to flight the armies of the aliens. May that be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. May that be your portion in the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. And to wrap this up, then the question is, how do I rise up? How do I rise up to be a hero of faith? And I am in Hebrews chapter number 12. I am in Hebrews chapter number 12. Hebrews chapter number 12 and verse number 1. And now, therefore also, since we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, number 1, how do you rise up to be a hero of faith? You can write this down. Let us lay aside every weight. Let us lay aside every weight. Look at your neighbor and tell the neighbor. Lay aside every weight. Lay aside every weight. May it be bitterness. You know there are some of us listening to me and we have a lot of weight. We have lots of weight. Umebeba watu. Watu wenye umebeba hivi. Umebeba hivi watu kwa mgongo kwa roho. Umebeba wengine kwa akili. Wengine umebeba kwa tumbo. You have you have a lot of weight. You 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 refer to your, you keep referring to your history. Lay down every weight. Come on challenge your neighbor and tell them lay down every weight. Lay down every weight. Lay down every discouragement. Lay down every pain. Anything that you find that is weighty. Heroes do not run with weights. I said heroes do not run with weights. When Kipchoge is running, hamuonangi na zile vitu za gym, ati anakimbia nazo. No, 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 no. He lays, in fact, he dresses light. Lay down every... Lay down every weight. Talk to somebody and tell them, lay down every weight. Number two, in the same verse, let us continue. Aha, number two, how do we rise up to be heroes? Number two, lay down every sin that easily entangles. Lay down sin which so easily ensnares us or entangles. Lay down sin that easily entangles. Haya, sasa ujiwendi wa mubiri wangu, nisaidia kubiri ya uyo wakakaribu mwambia, lay down every sin. Lay down every sin. The truth of the matter is sin is a destroyer of destiny. Sin is a destroyer of heroes. Buona sfere sana. And you know I'm not speaking from a place of being a, uh, from a place of being having apprehended, but all of us being a young uh, being young people, we 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 have struggles. Look at your neighbor and tell them neighbor. Wacha kukaa kama wewe 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 ukutana ngina hizi vitu. Uh, talk to your neighbor. Mwambie kila mtu anapambana, anakutananga na Eh eh sin easily sin is a destroyer. I saw someone uh, uh, write on social media that uh, lapses uh, the island is like chopping board ya destiny ya Samson. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kwa hivyo my brothers, please 
please blessed be god do not go and lie on those uh, uh, those laps your destiny itakatoka hivi kama utura sin is a destroyer of si tuongeleshane can we talk can we talk and you see the plan of the enemy he works so hard to to see our conscience auwe our conscience that if you are a brother wewe una dishi una dishi left right and center unakula matumbo unakula maini una dishi kila mahali blessed be the name of jesus una di- the enemy is up to destroy you all unja kuna watu wanasema hata matumbo ni nyama wewe unakula kila kitu na pastor brian hiyo ni coded language for the youth service <laughs> kama wewe ni dada jameni acha niwache sin that easily entangles wewe <laughs> kwa unapeana huku left right and center in the village in you are going out and you are coming in you are giving no 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 sin easily entangles come on touch your neighbor and tell them neighbor sin is a destroyer of destiny na ukiona ni kama anakuangalia kama yeye hana mwambia waache bana waacha wewe <laughs> waacha wewe maybe you seen differently bwana asifiwe sana sin is a destroyer of destiny mm. laps za delila ndio zilikuwa chopping board ya destiny ya haya bwana asifiwe sana i pray in the name of jesus may we run away from sin May we obtain the grace to run away from sin that easily does what and snares us and you see what what it makes of us it makes us empty it doesn't add value to us anger does not add value to you blessed be the name of Jesus it does not add value it makes you empty it makes you feel worthless there's no way you are being a hero when sin has ensnared you help me preach to somebody one more time mwambie let us lay aside sin that easily ensnares us look for another neighbor and tell them neighbor let us lay aside sin which easily ensnares us inatushika hivi unasahau sin is a dis- disqualifies you sin disqualifies us sin disqualifies heroes bwana asifiwe sana i was listening to bishop jb and he was saying um that david he was to build the ark of uh, to build the temple for god but sin with betsheba disqualified him in as much as he had gathered the resources and he had the ability he because of that sin he was disqualified how i pray for everybody listening to me may you not be disqualified because of sin may we not be disqualified i said may we not be disqualified i do not want to be disqualified i do not know about you but as for me i am praying my father my god i do not want to be disqualified therefore give me a grace give me the grace to run away from sin look at your neighbor and tell them neighbor sin disqualifies eh unatolewa kwa ligi bwana asifiwe sana i pray that you shall not be disqualified let us continue we lay aside every weight we lay aside what sin aha uh-huh. that does what and snares us number 3 for us to rise up to be heroes the unexpected heroes of faith let us run with endurance the race that is set before us let us run keep that scripture there let us run with endurance that look at your neighbor and tell them run with endurance number 2 <laughs> run T- talk to your neighbor and tell them run the race that is set before you You see the problem that we have and especially as the young people we run the race that is not set before us. Tunataka kukimbia vita mbio za wengine. We are so much concerned with uh, other people's life. Who is wearing what? Who is dating who? Who was left by who? Please if you are not interested in the left wall the lefty, please let us run the race that is set. Unless you are interested, please. Wachana if uh, 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 can I talk to you? Can we talk? unless you are interested please let us run the race that is set before look at your neighbor and tell them neighbor run your race keep your lane maze bwana swe sana kuna kuangana na lane ya malori kuna kuangana lane ya matrela kuna kuangana lane ya gari ndogo kama wewe unaenda 80 km per hour na mimi nimeamua niende 20 maze eka checkers jesse peter bwana peter run the race that is set before 
akaja Jesse because anapenda hiyo mchezo yako huyo. Na kuna kama checkers. Ah talk to your neighbor and tell them neighbor run your race. Stop stop running other people's race. Eh yeah, you know there are people who are who are seated here and they are much concerned who is wearing what. Who walked with who? Who talked with who? It is important for Sabrina taught us to mind our own business for us to rise up to be the heroes of faith we need to run with perseverance and run the race that is set before somebody say amen, amen. point number 1 lay down every weight somebody say lay down every weight lay down every sin let us run with what perseverance and run the race that is marked for us bwana sikwe sana let us run the race that is set before us and to my last point to my last point for us to rise up to be the unexpected heroes of faith heroes of faith the same verse the same verse aha uh-huh. the next verse verse number 2 what do we do look and to jesus who is the world the author and the finisher of our faith look Jesus among all the points that I've spoken this is the most important point look to Jesus help me to start to preach to somebody and tell the neighbor look to Jesus look to Jesus usitegemee mbabezi maze usitegemee ma connection vitu uchange help me preach to somebody mwambie vitu uchange mwambie vitu uchange baba babi dadi anaitangwa nani wanaitangwa nani wanaitangwa nani imepotea hiyo jina wanaendanga hao 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 masponyo huenda my baby daddy wa upotea bwana asifiwe sana let us look to jesus who is the what the author and the finisher of our faith gonga jirani mwambie look to jesus let us not look at our president let us not look at our governor let us not look to bishop let us look to jesus who is the author and the finisher of our faith for the joy that was set before him he endured the cross and he ran with perseverance help me please somebody who is seated behind you and tell them look to jesus touch three four five people mwambie look to jesus man look to jesus look to jesus usiangalie hiyo deal huwe inakuponyokea hivi kwa mdomo as kimu told us let us look to jesus let us look to jesus he is the author and the finisher of our gonga jirani mwambie neighbor we are rising to be the unexpected heroes of faith Look for another one mwambie neighbor lay down every weight lay down sin look to Jesus run your race and i pray for you this morning as i pray for for myself that 500 years to come it shall be written that by faith Brian became a hero of faith by faith Kimu became a hero of faith by faith you became a hero of faith by faith Joy rose to be a hero of faith why because we looked to Jesus why because we laid down every weight why because we ran with perseverance may that be your portion in the name of Jesus we look to Jesus who is the author and the finisher of our let us stand up on our feet and make some declaration prophesy over yourself that we shall rise up to be heroes of faith in the name of Jesus Christ lord give us the grace this is a prayer that i want you to make for yourself may you give us the grace you are the one who knows where you're coming from our bishop says that it is only the wearer of the shoe who knows where the shoe pinches you know where you're coming from you know your family how it looks like you know your people how they, they look like you know the things that you're struggling with you know the addiction that you're struggling with i pray may you open your mouth and cry to the god of heaven who is able to lift you up to lift up to lift you up and turn your weaknesses to be strength in the name of jesus christ would you lift up your mouth open up your mouth and lift up your voice to the god of heaven shetaka zakatari andalaba riko 
Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ uh, that out of Shiloh Worship Center, heroes are rising uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, faith is rising uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I pray for every soul. Uh, I pray for every heart uh, under the sound of my voice uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, the name that is above every other name. Uh, Sheka zeketari andalaba, rako zekateli andalaba, zoka sketere andalaba. Somebody cry out to Jesus uh, for the sake of your destiny, for the sake of the generations to come. Raka shaka darabo seketa, that it shall not end with you, but generations to come shall write. Raka zoko teka yandalabo, rika zeka raka talianda, yako oprake teke mayanda, sheke zeke teke nani andalabo, rika sko teke nayanda. I pray in the name of Jesus. Uh, heroes are rising uh, who will walk righteousness. Uh, I pray in the name of Jesus uh, that uh, heroes are rising uh, who will subdue kingdoms. Uh, I pray in the name of Jesus. Uh, heroes are rising uh, who will obtain promises. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Shaka skoteke barianta. Raka zeke talaba. A generation is rising. Uh, a great generation. Raka zeke teke talianda. Roske teka palianda labo. Sheke zaka Cry out to Jesus uh, for the sake of your destiny. Cry out to Jesus uh, for the sake of your destiny. Cry out to Jesus uh, for the sake of your children. Uh. Cry out to Jesus uh, for the sake of your husband. Uh. Cry out to Jesus. Uh. I decree in the name of Jesus uh, of this place. Uh, prayer heroes are rising uh, in this place. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Yako Rebo Setalianda. Sheko Skatali Barakata. Roko Sheka Sketalima. Mako Rabo Setakina Mayanda. Rako Seketeleba. Reko Seketalianda. Reka Sheka Talapa. Because greater is he uh, that is in us. Uh, than here that is in the world. O Sheba Sokatalaba, Roka Sketegaba, Ropa Sheketege Barianda, Roko Sekatalaba, Ten Rosa Rising, Rabo Sheketalabayanda, Liko Setelebayanda Rabo, Rika Shandalabo Sata, Robo Seketeleba, Arise, 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 Arise. Arise, may you arise and let your enemies be scattered. Arukas ketele bayanda rabo sheta laba sate kamayanda labo rika zakata li mayanda jagata labo seketele mayanda riko sketa laba yanda rako shanda laba. From the back to the front, I decree in the name of Jesus. Champions are rising in the name of Jesus. The grace to raise to rise up is being released in the name of Jesus. Rako Mayanda la Bos Seketa, Korean de Kalabas Shata, Zakariana la Bos Seketa, Yakos Katele Bayanda, Yakareba Setarianda, Yakarabos Soketa Laba. Those who had written you off, they shall see you yet again rise. Those who had written you off, they shall see you rise. Those who thought that we are finished, those who thought that we are perfect generation, they shall see us rise to be the unexpected hero. Rosa, ya kareba sheke talima, ya koseteleba. Those who sent us away, they shall see us, see us yet again. Those who rejected us, shall see us yet again. Ya karabo sheke talaba. Those who called us worthless, they shall see us yet again. Ya karabo sheke talianda, zopa ke prayanda labo, zika shanda labayanda. Because your mercy shall speak for us, 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 
your mercy shall speak for us. Your mercy shall speak for us. Your mercy shall speak for us. Your mercy is speaking for us. Your mercy is speaking for us. Your mercy. Sheka reba seke teleba, yaka la bosse talaba, shane re bosse katalaba. Your mercy is speaking for us. for your presence. Thank you for ministering to each and every one of us. We bless you, exalt you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Somebody lift up your hands above your head and celebrate the King of 